Are you born again? There are some characteristics of being born again, as we will point out here. You can meet what we call good people and bad people, it has nothing to do with the new birth. It lies in man nature, that is, in what we call ancient Adam's nature. You can easily be religious, without being born again, have a very good moral and sense of self-righteousness, where you think you are a good person. It is very important to know the difference between being religious and being born again. There is a difference between life and death. Salvation and Damnation Rome.8-5 Those who are guided by the flesh burn the carnal, but those who are guided by the spirit embrace the spiritual. They just can't help it, they are driven and lead the wrong, sinful things and lives. They may join some religious movement, but they do not own the life of the Holy Spirit, you see and feel it on the fruits therefore automatically puts, what they do say believe believe. Those who live by the Spirit are the born again, they do not lose the spiritual in their minds and thoughts. What is called the flesh is a contrast to the Spirit. You can't confuse it and then think you're still in the spirit, it's a self-deception. And the spiritual ones clearly know the difference, lacking the unity of the heart and the contact in the spiritual life, they are what we call spiritual dead. He who lives according to the flesh is more and more divorced from God. He who lives according to the spirit will thirst more and more for the spiritual. The flesh will always content itself first, the selfish life will always be opposite to God's life. Even if it's never that religious. It is always with ulterior motives about what I get out of what I do, they do that, many times they run away from the spiritual, because, without anyone saying anything, feel exposed all the time, feel guilty and feel bad among spirituals. To live according to the flesh is to live oneself to pleasure, obey the lusts of the flesh, and besides, to admire and exalt oneself and make others do the same. They stand up and often say do as me, learn from me I am, I can but Jesus they bypass in a way to make themselves God. Do you see me, do you hear me? Agree with me. The spiritual one turns to God's word, and will turn away from itself and make people seek the meanings of God's word in thought and life. They seek to align people with God's word, and constantly seek to know God's word more and more to help people to salvation according to the word and not just like the religious ones, to win prose lights to their assembly. 1 Johannes Letter 3 to 8 He who does sin is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. But therefore the Son of God was revealed that he might destroy the works of the devil. He who lives a sinful life is spiritual united with the devil, he sinned from the beginning. It is impossible for a born again to live in sin, the one who lives in sin thereby shows that the life of Christ does not dwell in him. We may do things actually sin without knowing for a while. Here we are covered under God's pardon and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin and unrighteousness, but when we see or are told it is wrong or sin, we automatically conform to God's word. 1 Johannes Letter.3-9 Anyone who is born of God does not sin, for the seed of God abides in him, yes, he cannot sin because he is born of God. We must understand this as follows. He cannot live in conscious sin. We may fall into a sin, but we do everything we can to get out of it immediately. We cannot live in it. As we have heard, we can wash a pig, but we cannot prevent it from wallowing in the dirt again. But if a sheep falls into the mud, it jumps back up quickly, it cannot live in the mud. A born again will search God's word for what sin is to avoid it. Sin is not moral according to what I understand, but according to what God calls sin in his word. Therefore, true Christians read and hear the word of God very much. 1 Peter 1-23 Born again as you are, 
not of incorruptible, but of incorruptible seed, by the living and abiding word of God. So you are born of the living word. Jesus by the Holy Spirit inside you. When the word is dead and no longer alive to you and the hunger for the word is gone or never been there, then your spiritual life is in danger. Many when they have been Christians oh many years are closest to the word of God, they think slash say that we know but they do not hear with that spiritual ear what God tells them now. It's like it's running over their hooves, they're what we call fallen asleep, they're saved, but sleep for hours, so to speak. 1 Pet. 2 1 2 3. Therefore, you must put aside all evil and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all manner of slander, and as newborn children crave the unadulterated milk of the word, that by it you may grow up to salvation, so truly you have tasted that the Lord is good. Peter writes here that we can put off all evils that belong to the old carnal and religious life. We can be very religious and go to Christian assemblies, but full of fraud and hypocrisy and slander. It shows that we are not born again if we can stay in this state of mind without wanting to get out of it. Fraud, stands for giving in to temptations to be dishonest in society with others, and trying to highlight oneself in a dishonest manner. Hypocrisy is to show two faces that the religious are good at, they have one face in the congregation and another in the world. They do not stand firm on the truth according to God's word, but bow to the zeitgeist of the world. Slander 7 Gossip, in a way, contains both fraud and hypocrisy. They speak ill of others, they tear down and hurt others. They are accusing without evidence. They send out rumors. Now all you have to do is listen, I just heard or belittle others to come forward for themselves. There is much such war among the carnal Christians and the religious. The carnal can be saved from it, for they are born again, but the religious cannot be saved from such a life, since they are not born again. The life of the reborn depends on the diet that it receives. 1 Pet.2-2 as newborn children crave the unadulterated milk of the word, that by it you may grow up to salvation. A P Pothio and means Deep longing for Thus, the born again has a deep longing to live according to the living word of God. Perhaps a little fanatical, seen through the eyes of the world and the religious. Another sign of being born again is JN.16-14 He shall glorify me, for he shall take of mine and proclaim it unto you. He who is born again has received the Holy Spirit, who dwells within him. There will always be an inner prompting from the Spirit to glorify Jesus. The unborn will hate and I repeat hate glorifying Jesus. The religious would like to glorify Jesus, but with himself at the center. He will sacrifice something for the cause of God, just like the sons of Aaron. 3 Mos 10 to 1 But Aaron's sons Nadab and Abihu each took their foreheads, set fire to them, and then put incense thereon, bringing forth to the sight of the Lord foreign fire which he had not imposed upon them. They were not prompted by the Holy Ghost, even though they were sons of priests. It was fake fire they produced. We have many false happiness prophets today and the false fire burns in many places. In the early days of the revival, in the early days of Pentecost and the Apostolic Church, we often heard that there was foreign fire in the congregation. But no priest today dares to reveal that, at most it can be to expose a false prophecy but we often hear that some religious people say they are baptized with the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues and prophesy. The devil can also baptize in the Spirit and give tongues and prophecy, but these are all imitations and not the true commodities. It's fake fire. But who priest or elder dares to reveal it, if they see it? The born again follows the prompting of the inner spirit, 
which is always based on God's word, without pointing to himself, but always to God's word and Jesus. When you do that, there's no foreign fire. The alien fire always has to do with itself. Do you hear me speak in tongues and prophesy? Do you hear me testify? Do you hear me preach? How many thank me for the speech and applaud the message? It's fake fire. A carnal Christian can fall for that too, but he wants to get out of this with himself at the center. He wants a humble mind. He is prompted by the Holy Spirit to have what David calls a broken spirit. John 3-3 Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, no one can see the kingdom of God if he is not born again. We hope that through these you can see the kingdom of God. If you are born again, you are a son of God. Right after the chapter of the Hebrews letter comes the chastisement chapter. It is part of the new life in Christ. And it loves the reborn. Have. 12 4 to 8. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted until the blood, and you have forgotten the admonition, which speaks to you as to sons, my son. Do not disregard the discipline of the Lord, neither be discouraged when you are chastened by him, the Lord chastens the one he loves, severely punishes every son he holds dear. It is to your discipline that you must suffer, God deals with you as with sons, for where is the son whom the father does not chastise? If you do not receive any chastisement, of which everyone gets their share, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. If we may translate freely. Then they are religious, the ones who cut corners, they are the ones whom Jesus calls thieves and robbers. Jo. 10 to 1. Truly, verily, I say unto you, he who does not enter the sheepfold through the door, but rises above other places, he is a thief and a robber. If I are only a religious, repent of Jesus and receive him as your personal savior. Renounce all your religiosity and experiences of the spirit if they never look so much like the real, it is only the angel of light, Satan and the evil spirits, who deceives you. And you who do not know God and have never been interested in him, Come to Jesus and receive him as your personal savior and be born again. Seek a church slash fellowship of a congregation and hear God's word. Be inborn again, which of course begins in flesh, let us accept the education of God's grace and love God's discipline, which is for our own growth and upbringing in Christ. Amen.